<sighs> Welcome to my Monday Night Raw review. A lot of things have happened in the past 24 hours since I was at the Payback pay-per-view. And we're going to kick it off pretty much with the new World Heavyweight Champion, Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio talked about he was the new champion. His people booed at him and everything. He pretty much he referred to himself as their Superman and everything and stuff. And he, and he won the title and it was very controversial. But he kind of, he knows the reaction he's been getting ever since he won the world title. Even when he was in, wounded and injured and Ziggler came out and cashed in the money in the bank on him and people cheered. And when Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter were making fun of his Mexican heritage, the people were chanting USA. And that people just kept booing him and booing him. And he, told, he demanded, he wanted to give the people one more chance to show him that the respect. He des deserves. He said he was the best around here and everything. So this pretty much made a uh, Del Del Rio, you know, this pretty much made Del Rio a heel, right? Because uh, you guys cheer for a coward and everything, which was which was um, you know, Dolph Ziggler and everything. So. Pretty much, this really kind of made the real a heel and everything, and he wants the every he wanted his respect, and he knows, and now everything is gonna change since he's the new world heavyweight champion, because he thinks this booing is gonna stop until CM Punk and Paul Heyman came out. Punk came out saying, "You want to call yourself the best? Remember who beat you at Survivor Series in 2011, and how long he held the title after that, which is 400." 34 days as Paul Heyman said and Punk wanted to fight Del Rio out here tonight people were chanting CM Punk then and he wanted to fight Del Rio until Heyman started talking saying my client doesn't fight for free alright and then hey, and then Punk pretty much took the mic and he was like Paul 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 what are you doing like pretty much telling uh, Paul to be quiet and he wanted to fight Del Rio t tonight, so he wanted to get him, and he told, he pretty much on the mic saying that Dolph Ziggler will get the rematch he deserves whenever he's medically cleared, I believe. And pretty much Vicky Guerrero came out tonight, again saying that it will be CM Punk going against Alberto Del Rio tonight in the main event. Um, pretty much uh, after that, Heyman and Punk were in the back. Punk pretty much told Heyman that to come out there tonight. Like, don't come out there tonight. He doesn't want him out there. Don't come with the ring him, ring with him. He's not Brock Lesnar. He's not Curtis Axel. He doesn't need his help. He's still a Paul Heyman guy, but he just didn't want his help tonight. So, I don't know what's going to happen with CM Punk and Paul Heyman now. Um, Wade Barrett was supposed to come out to fight for the Intercontinental title, but Vicky came out with her uh, saying, you have a different opponent tonight. The return of Christian was tonight, which was crazy. Like, these returns are coming. Like, Christian pretty much came out there. It was a very great return. I didn't think anybody else was going to return. It was a little quick, but Christian picked up the one with the kill switch. So, I was glad to see Christian back in the ring. Like, come on. First, we're getting RVD back, and now we're getting Christian. But, um, it was a nice return. I'm still waiting for RVD, and they keep showing these videos. With, it's like this. If you saw the video, if you were at the pay-per-view like I was, as soon as that video came out the pay-per-view, the crowd went hot, and it's good thing they came back on air on the live while showing that, because the crowd was just chanting RVD, RVD, RVD to the top of the roof, I'm telling you, at the All-State Arena. So it was some good stuff right there. Um, Team Road Scholars went against Sheamus. Uh, pretty much Sheamus went against them. Sheamus about to do the roll kick on Cody Rhodes, but Sandow got the roll up and beat him, making Rhodes Scholars the winners. After that, Sheamus pretty much broke kick Rhodes then in the ring. So, yeah, pretty, he pretty much did that to him. But Sandow got, but uh, Sandow pretty much got the win. Also tonight, uh, Triple H pretty much came to Vicky Guerrero telling them saying that it is going to be Kane versus Ambrose tonight, but. Triple H told Vicky to make sure that the shield doesn't get interfered. And what did you did you call RVD and tell him to get his call or CM Punk's return? And saying you book 3MB on this show tonight? Yeah, well, that's a strobe luck. Booking 3MB on this show tonight. Then pretty much Kane and Brian were talking in the back. 
thinking the team may be over. They both want to go for the WWE Championship now. So I don't know what's going to happen there. They're going to go for the WWE title. Pretty much it was Daniel Bryan going against Randy Orton, which the choices were a no disqualification match, no count out match, or a two out of three falls match, which I thought was going to be a two out of three falls match, but it was a no disqualification match, very brutal. Daniel Bryan's head hit in the barricade real, real hard doing that suicide dive. And then pretty much later in the match, when Orton did a back body drop onto the barricade, uh, the paramedics had to end the match, then the doctor out there, because I guess they didn't want anything else bad happening to Bryan. Like, I didn't think they were going to keep going with the match, but they kind of, it was a little bit ended, surprisingly, but I don't know, folks thought Orton was going to go here because he caught Daniel Bryan the weak link, but he pretty much held Daniel Bryan up, Daniel was able to walk out on his own, so I pretty much think everything is okay out there, so it was, it was kind of much of a no contest, I believe. Uh, AJ came out, oh, well, Orton won, but AJ came out then with Langston. Talking about she won the Divas title and that no woman in the back is going to beat her and everything. And how she humiliated Caitlyn and Stephanie McMahon came out. Pretty much talking to AJ saying, you better start acting like a champion, she says. And AJ says, I'm you, but younger. And then Stephanie pretty much looked down and just say, yeah, you were saying something? Just look down and everything. Saying, like, if you don't start becoming a better champion, you won't be even having a job around here. Because she'll be taking Diva's title away from her. And then Caitlyn's music came up. And half of the other WWE Divas Ross and Stephanie, when Caitlyn was talking, like, Stephanie walked up to her and said, I know you're going through a hard time right now, but interrupt, don't ever interrupt her again. And that goes for the rest of the Divas, pretty much. So, Stephanie McMahon was pretty much um, bitching a lot of Divas out tonight. Caitlyn and everybody and everyone else saying, do not interrupt Stephanie McMahon or or else, pretty much. Don't ever do that to her. And Caitlyn pretty much talked about you got inside her head and all of this. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. And she's like, you made her crazy and everything, and now she's going to do something to her. And pretty much, um, uh, Caitlyn got in the ring and started attacking AJ again. And Langston had to get AJ out and pull out. I don't know why they cut the camera, but I think mean, they almost, Kayla almost lost her shirt. So I hate it with It's the damn PG marks. But, um, pretty much, um, Caitlin pretty much got AJ tonight. But Stephanie pretty much kind of was bitching out everybody in this whole segment. So, yeah, Steph pretty much did that. Ambrose went against Kane, which was pretty much short. Shield got involved and attacked Kane. And then Vicky was going to do something to the Shield. But when was the last time anybody stopped the Shield and told the Shield what to do? Really, and then Vince came out and shook the Shield's hand. Saying, you remind me of him. And I like, tell him to keep up the good work and everything. And pretty much, I never liked that Halloween mask that he had Kane, though, he says. So, yeah. After that, Zeb Coulter came out. Pretty much... Talking about he represents America, he can speak five languages, but he can speak English, which was Antonio Cesaro. I guess they're gonna go somewhere now, Cesaro, since they're teaming him up with Zeb Coulter now and putting him there. And pretty much talking about we the people, pretty much saying we the people and everything. And Coulter, and pretty much um, Cesaro went against William Regal. Cesaro won. It was a very weird tag team, and they took that don't tread on me flag. And, Threw it on um, William Regal then, which this tag team is very. When that tag team, but him being a manager and Jack Swagger is not here, I don't know where this gonna go. Since and Cole just going at him, saying like, he's not even American, he's not even an American, and all this stuff. But well, we're just gonna keep it up like that. Then John Cena came out. Talk about he headed to the three stages of hell. He beat Ryback and everything. And pretty much, uh, Cena was being lot pretty much booed in. Talking about, like, I had a horrible year in 2000, so it was the worst year of my life. And so he told everybody, like, respect them and everything. <laughs> and fans pretty much told him he sucked and everything. Talk about his worst year. In 2012, and talk about money in the bank is coming. Like you're gonna have to earn that spot against him. 
talking about if, and that no money in the bank contract is gonna stop him because you have to earn the fight John Cena now for the WWE Championship at Money in the Bank. So he was the better man in three stages of hell match and he walked out of Chicago last night still being the WWE Champion. And then pretty much after that um, Mark Henry's music came out because there was reports on Twitter that well Mark Henry's supposed to be his return tonight but he was retired. Mark Henry kind of came out crying and everything and his music played and he left his boots on top of the stage. People chanted for Henry and he talked about his career, his family, his kids, and he was like, no, not me, young, stupid, <laughs> pretty much. And folks were chanting sexual chocolate and talking about he's been world champion. He's been ECW champion. He's one of the strongest men. I've known other titles he was before also. And Henry pretty much was kind of crying out there. Because it was pretty much, he's on the road 200 days a year and everything. And he held the WWE title in his hand, JBL, so he was never WWE champion, no. And he's been a, and he's been a seasoned veteran in 2002 when John Cena walked in. And pretty much he told Cena to stay there. Cena hung on the apron and everything. I guess wanted everybody to hear it. And everybody clapped for Henry and Cena came in. Pretty much Henry, Henry sells his last time now, so... Pretty much uh, last time there and everything, Cena came in and hugged them, and then Henry did the world's strongest slam on Cena, and the crowd went ape shit nuts for Mark Henry again, which was, I gotta say, it was one hell of a thing right here, I'll say that, what a great thing, it made you believe Mark Henry was gonna, I thought Mark Henry was about to retire, he came out in the suit, and I think people knew it was really legitimate when he started crying, and Cena was on the apron, brought his boots out, left them up on the stage, and talking about his whole career and it was over but he pretty much said he ain't done yet he still got a full tank he coming for that WWE championship and everyone started interviewing the back saying that he says he earned his WWE title shot he wants to fight John Cena for that that's the title he ain't never won yet and he wants to become WWE championship so I'm glad they got right back kind of now the picture of Mark Henry in that was one hell of a swerve right there cuz I, I swear I believe Mark Henry's gonna retire tonight but He's back and he's coming for the WWE Championship and I'm very glad this is happening. Cause it was too much retired I thought it really was. Jericho went against Heath Slater. Jericho on a cold break and pretty much beat up the rest of three and beat in. So he did that. I don't know what's next for Jericho. I've been hearing he's supposed to leave then come back again, but I, I don't know. I think Jericho's still here around. So Jericho will still be here. Curtis Axel went against Sankara. This is on commentary, pretty much Axel beat up Sankara and won the match. So, yeah, you know, Hangman's with him and Curse Axel, you know, still the Intercontinental Champion. So I don't know they're going to do Curse Axel next. I'm surprised he has the title this soon, but yeah, it's very crazy. And then Vicky was in the back and Vince told her, I guess time was a great job she was doing until Stephanie came and said this whole show's going out of control and Triple H was mad saying like I told you to do something to the shield make example out of him and Vince was just trying to say it was okay and pretty much Triple H saying like you need to do a better job Ryan listen to him and then Vince said to stick with him and Stephanie said if I were you I listen to me and don't listen to them so this whole McMahon thing is getting weird I don't know what this big surprise Vicky was supposed to add tonight with the McMahons, but it was a very, I guess it was a surprise or something, it was too weird anyway. I'm almost wondering what, which McMahon has power, everybody, all the McMahons have run the shots most of the time. Punk was on his way to the stage until um, Paul stopped him, talking about he knows, like, you know, when I'm out there, but he knows his friend and everything, but like he was going to let him go out there and do it on his own tonight. So, Punk pretty much, um, he was going to do it on his own tonight, and Paul pretty much parked, um, hugged CM Punk, and Punk came out. Pretty much, it was time for uh, Alberto Del Rio going against CM Punk tonight. Pretty much, the match was going on, and everything. Oh, pretty much throughout the match and stuff, as the match continued. For CM Punk and Del Rio, pretty much the match went on until Del Rio was about to leave then. Del Rio pretty much tried to get out of there and Ricardo helped him out. He pretty much left, didn't want to keep fighting CM Punk anymore. So after he left then, 
pretty much Dolph Ziggler came out of nowhere. He wasn't even supposed to be there tonight, but the crowd went crazy for Dolph Ziggler because they just said Ziggler was not even going to be there tonight on Raw anyway. But he came out there, and tonight he was ready to pretty much fight tonight. I guess go after Del Rio attacking him and CM Punk won the match by count out until Brock Lesnar's music hit in. And Brock Lesnar just coming out. The crowd's going crazy. Lesnar just just comes out and he's looking at CM Punk then. And he had the mic in his hand. And I'm wondering, like, where's Paul Heyman at and stuff? Because I, I gotta say, and then pretty much he, he just f 5 CM Punk in the ring. So I, I don't know what they're gonna do. There's been a lot of returns. Like, a lot of people are just returning back now. Which I'm, I'm wondering now, like, since Lesnar, I'm glad they kind of got Lesnar away from Triple H, at least. I'm glad about that. So, at least he's not with Triple H anymore. I know that. So, that's a good thing. But, CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar, this may be a very interesting thing. And what Paul Heyman is going to have to do with this, I don't know. But, Paul Heyman is going to have to do something real big with this now, since uh, it's going to happen with Punk and uh, Lesnar. Because I didn't know what was going to happen, who was going to throw the first punch on that, but Brock Lesnar is, at least, I gotta say, Brock Lesnar is somewhat, not frequently, but he, they keep him coming a lot now. So, I don't know, I'm just glad this whole Triple H feud thing is done with him, because I've honestly gotten tired of that. But, I really want to see what's going to happen with uh, CM Punk and Brock Lesnar and where this is going to go. This is a very good, good show tonight, but Payback was still better last night. I'm really going to try to go with those live reactions. Just got to be you no know, copyright to WWE. They'll say all rights reserved to them and stuff. So we'll just have to do that so I can get the live reactions up there. But uh, this was a really interesting Monday Night Raw review. A lot of things happened tonight. So once again, you know it's me, it's me, it's me, DHOD, coming here once again with the news and the reviews. Keep watching the show. You know what I am. You know what I do. Came and I saw it. would know this review of Monday Night Raw. Like, comment on anything. You have to check out the show. Check out my payback review from last night. Gonna get those live reactions, like I said, up sooner or later. But you keep checking out the show. And I, I may even speak on E3 this week. Even though E3 was last week, I feel like I need to do a video of that also. About who's gonna win between the... PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, but this is a wrestling review right here. So once again, you know I am, you know I do, comments, so I keep watching the show, you know this crazy stuff happening around here on this show. So I will see you guys later. I am out of here. Peace.